Rumors of the launch date of the iPhone 6 and an iPhone Air have just emerged. HTC finally finds an economical break with some quarterly profits. And as new as Android Wear smartwatches are, they already have a software update. I'm Jaime Rivera, and man, wouldn't it be cool? I mean, Android Wear is new, it already has software updates. How about the rest of Android? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's begin today with some official news that are actually good. HTC has finally found the break when it comes to its economics. It finally landed its own projections when it comes to its quarter results, and it even landed a $75 million profit for the first time in a very long time. Now, given the success of the HTC One M8 and the great design that it has, it's great to see that HTC is finally finding the break that it was looking for, and hopefully that trend continues. Now let's talk about Android Wear, as Google seems to be doing for it what it couldn't do for its smartphones. Right now, the company has just pushed the software update to the G Watch and the Gear Live, and they got the update just like it should be, not having to wait for OEMs or carriers or whatever. The software update is sadly no specifics, all we know is that it's 4.4W, and uh, apparently these are just bug fixes, but still, this is great news on how things should be done. Now we got some interesting photos of a Nokia Lumia smartphone with this very nice camera hump at the back that's actually smaller than the one that we see on the Lumia 1020. Uh, some of us were assuming that this could be the successor to the 1020, which is already due for an update, but uh, apparently the specifications and the codename of this phone don't really point to a flagship. Apparently this will be something like the Lumia 830. So we really can't understand why the camera hump and stuff like that. Stay tuned, rumors will get better and we will get more details coming soon. Now, just as we heard the rumors of the Sony Xperia Z3, up next are the rumors of the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact. And even though the lame is long, I love the fact that uh, Sony knows how to push a compact phone. The specifications are pretty much the same, only with a smaller screen size and less resolution, which is fine. It's just fine. It makes sense. Uh, links in the description for full details on specifications. Hopefully, the Z3 Compact will be launched shortly after the Z3 in the fall. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, if we could call them news, these are more like rumors. Uh, we get more details on the iPhone 6 launch. We had heard September 19th by two sources, but now the source is talking about a September 25th launch with an event happening on September 15th. But even hotter with these rumors is the fact that apparently the iPhone 6 will be the 4.7 inch model, and then the 5.5 inch model will be dubbed the iPhone Air. Uh, which is really confusing as surely this follows the whole iPad trend, but when you go into the MacBook trend, it's completely different. Uh, we don't really know why this moniker or, or anything, but that leads you to the question of the day. Uh, what do you think about that name, iPhone Air? I mean, it's completely misleading since all Apple phones are thin and light. Uh, leave us a comment down below. What other name would you give this phone? And hey, any name is allowed. Comments down below. Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier or before this video is finished, sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.